Hey there and welcome to our channel. The Fallout public test server has reopened with many new and exciting content. Please do not watch further if you want to avoid any spoilers. In this video, we are going to provide you with a preview of the upcoming Season 5 scoreboard rewards. It is nice to see some continuity from the Season 3 scoreboard called the Scribe of Avalon. You can tell it's a continuation of Season 3 because they reused the same background music. Season 5 scoreboard is titled as Escape from the 42nd Century. What's nice is this new fortune teller machine. Hopefully, it gives you a luck stats boost, then perhaps we can get better rolls from the purveyor. There is currently no camp object in Season 4 scoreboard that boosts any character stats. For a change, Season 5 now offers you legendary modules as rewards on the Season scoreboard. This is most helpful with the new legendary crafting feature. This is a charming new motorcycle hat. Perhaps wearing this hat will allow you to blend with the Blood Eagles. It is quite early in the scoreboard that you are rewarded with three legendary cores. This is particularly useful, but I think cores would be easily attainable from world events. Legendary cores will become the next treasury notes where players will have an abundance of them. So, don't worry too much about them. Perhaps. One of the most sought-after camp item is the Power Armor Chassis Display Frame. I'm sure many players will want this. I just hope they allow you to place more than one in your camp. Here's the new Raider Goon outfit. It looks almost like what is on sale on the Atomic Shop. Finally, we get a Gatling laser paint. I guess Bethesda is finally giving us weapon skins which are more sought after. Enough of those sledgehammer skins already. So, apparently the Raider Goon outfit was just the outfit. And this is the helmet. It looks like the current welding helmet which you can find today. This also reminds me of Isaac from Dead Space. Looking forward to the remastered version of Dead Space. We are delighted to see more legendary modules given as season rewards. 5 legendary modules is essentially 250 legendary script. Just remember to choose the right character before claiming the season reward. Potentially, more camp glitches to come as they introduce more types of stairs with posts. Always nice to see players' creativity in camp building. We are definitely looking forward to this outfit. The Blood Eagle Charmer blouse is so cute. It seems to come with its own headwear, so we hope it's compatible with a mask or another headwear. Here's the Charmer leather outfit. All the outfits seem to be spaced out by gender this time. They should actually consolidate them into one reward.
like all season rewards, you get power armor paints. Compared to the season 4 rewards, this feels like they just pasted a logo of a candy looking fish on a power armor. What's the purpose of a washer and dryer set? We hope it is able to generate a Brixo cleaners which can be scrapped into antiseptic. Won't that be lovely? First, they gave us a golden toilet bowl. Now, they give us a washing machine. Wow, you can see here that they apparently give you 10 legendary modules between 4 ranks of the scoreboard. This is definitely either a mistake or Bethesda's generosity. Interesting. You get a sword skin which can be put on the most one-handed blade weapon. You can turn a combat knife into a sword. We can finally wear a samurai outfit and hold this sword. This backpack skin feels like a space traveler from Starfield. It still seems quite plain and white though. We are hoping to get a treasure hunter mole miner backpack skin. This headwear really reminds me of Dead Space and the Mandalorian. In fact, anyone wearing a bucket on his head would look like a Mandalorian. Hopefully, there won't be any legal or copyright issues. We're glad that they separated the outfit from the headwear. We also hope that the blue strips on the outfit would glow. That would be aesthetically fanciful. The season scoreboard is definitely getting better compared to season 3. Season 4 scoreboard is now on, and the season 4 power armor skin is eye-catching. In summary, when comparing Season 4 with Season 5 rewards, you definitely get 1500 more caps, and the same number of atoms. However, you get 50 lesser gold bullion, 150 lesser legendary script, 2 less perk card packs and 6 less lunch boxes. This is a trade-off as you get 16 legendary modules and 23 legendary cores in Season 5 as the new scoreboard rewards. So, what do you think? Will you be coming back for the Fallout 76's Season 5 scoreboard grind? Let me know in the comments below. Well, almost near the end of this video, we hope you have enjoyed and we look forward to your future viewership. Remember to like, comment and join our Discord for more Fallout content. You can also support us on Twitch as we stream regularly.